Hello, and welcome to this video for researching a literature review. In this video, we will define a literature review, look at the different types of review you may encounter, the challenges you can face, and databases, how to search them effectively for your review. The standard definition of a literature review is thus. A literature review is an evaluative critique of scholarly literature that has been published on a particular subject. The aim of a literature review is to demonstrate that you have read and understood the main trends and concepts in your chosen discipline, taken in any contrasting or opposing views. A comprehensive literature review can identify gaps in the literature and provide direction for future research. There are a number of different review types you can encounter. Whilst most people will only ever have to research a literature review, some may start with a scoping review, which is intended to identify current research, the extent of such research, and determine if a more comprehensive review is viable. If you are running postgraduate research, you may hear the term systematic review. This is a large venture, usually run by two, three or more researchers. This review is comprehensive in its scope and seeks to find all published material on its research area. Systematic reviews generally take about 12 to 18 months to complete. Some of the challenges faced with reviews can be knowing how to start your research. Do you go wide in your subject area or search parameters and then whittle it down, or start very narrow and specific, then widen the search? This can change during this research phase. Having an understanding of what items to include or exclude, either in your search parameters or when critically assessing and analysing the information you've found in your search results, is important. Make sure that they were in the scope of your question that they are relevant. Knowing when to stop searching sounds easy, but many researchers found that ending the search for literature a difficult one. Maybe set a hard deadline for yourself to know when to stop searching and when to start writing. You may find that your question leads you into different areas and subjects from where you start, from health into social policy, for example. Be careful not to stray too far away from the area you're researching. Your research question should be the following. Specific, focused, clearly formulated, and well-defined, leaving no room for ambiguity or interpretation. Here we have two research question examples. These tips are useful if you are creating your own research question, but are also handy if you are addressing a set question. Why are social networking sites harmful? The question doesn't specify which social networking sites the researcher is looking at, what kind of harm the sites are causing, and assumes that this harm is proven and or accepted. This is an example of a poor research question. How are online users experiencing or addressing privacy issues on such social, social networking sites as Twitter and Facebook? This question is far better as a research question because it specifies particular sites, directly names the type of harm, and shows who the issue is harming. Methods to search within databases. To engage with your research fully, we would suggest you access academic databases, of which, as students of Trinity College, you have access to over 500 plus. The material they hold is authoritative, reliable and scholarly. They can also be accessed from home or on campus. Please remember that a Google search is not as academically rigorous as searching our databases. So let's look at the next steps. If you're in doubt regards which databases to use or where to find them, go to your subject librarians page. They hold comprehensive lists of the databases held for your research area. The subject librarian pages hold a treasure trove of information for the researcher. So now you know where to find the database, let's look at what, how we search for relevant information using one. There are three types of searching behaviours, cherry picking, control language and keyword searching. Cherry picking is like browsing the shelves of the research world. You type a relevant term into a search engine and try and cherry pick the relevant material from the huge number of results you get. This is not a constructive or advisable way to search a database or a good use of your time. 
control language searches are not available in all databases, so please do check. Information has been assigned to subject terms, which means you can search large amounts using one description. Some databases have terms for this vocabulary or control language. PubMed, for example, calls it MeSH. Keyword searching is the most popular and useful for many students and researchers. Keywords come from your research question and they are the drivers for your information search. Online thesauruses can help with building terms for your keywords, as does your own expertise in this area. Build as many terms for your concept as is possible. So what is a search strategy? It's the process of building the terminology you will use to find the information on your selected database. You'll break your question down into the main information sections that we'll call concepts. You'll then build keywords and terms for each of these concepts and then decide which databases you will search with these keywords. It may be easier for you to write this down so you can see your concept and keywords being built in this fashion. This is down to you as the individual researcher. On this page, we can see at the top what our research question is and then what concepts we have determined from the question. In this case, primary school children, physical activity and obesity. Underneath, we then have the keywords for each concept. So you can see how these are built and added to, dependent on your concept term. And or not. Known as Boolean operators, there are three words which will allow you to broaden, narrow or exclude keywords in your database searching. So we use or, remembering the term or is more, to broaden our search, to get in this example results for both back pain or backache. We can always, always also use a truncation, in this case an asterisk, which can search for the pluralization of terms. Here you can see therapy, therapies, etc. when the wildcard truncation is used. As, as mentioned, using and will narrow the search. You can also see quotation marks being used. These tell the search engine to bring back results to us only for the terms in, within the quotation marks. Back pain, for example. This technique use is this technique is generally used when you have a term over two or more words, like mental health or critical illness. So, in short, break down the research question into concepts, build terms for the concepts, use Booleans to narrow or broaden your search, and pick the databases you want to search, and then start your research. It is worth mentioning at this point the difference between research and review papers and journals. You will encounter both doing your research and so it is worth remembering that. Research papers are a primary source and excellent for review research. They report results of original study, data comes from the authors and they usually have a standardized format which makes it easier for the research to analyze and incorporate. Review papers are secondary sources, reviewing other papers and do not contain original research. Be aware when you are analysing your search results, you have the correct type of papers for your review. Also remember you have access to other resources such as institutional repositories like Trinity's Tara open access site, which holds a huge amount of information from a number of areas. Other open access sites include the Directory of Open Access Journals or CORE. There's also Google Scholar, which is useful for search after using academic databases, and Lean Library, available for free through Trinity Library's website, is an extension that sits in your browser and pops up when you have alighted on material that is accessible in Trinity's database. It provides you with rapid access to our digital content. All of us, though, may require help at some time or another. Therefore, you can contact your subject librarian email the library directly, ask at the library counter, or visit the duty librarian desk in the, library, in the Berkeley Library. Do also check out our other videos available through our YouTube channel or through the library website. Many thanks for your time watching this video.